in honor of the Aries new moon, we're gonna do a video about Aries because, well, firstly, I'm doing a video for each sign, so it's Aries season, time to do Aries. But also, with my new red hair and just in general in life, it's feeling very Aries, and I'm happy to uh, sit down and discuss what Aries means as a sign because it is literally, I'd say, the simplest sign to describe because it is, well, we'll get into why it is the simplest sign to describe, in my opinion. If you are an Aries, if you have thoughts around this, comment down below, as well as like and subscribe. Do all the things. I remind you all, because the majority of you all have not subscribed. Like, what the fuck is up with that? I would just, if I like someone's videos, I subscribe, so I'm taking it, uh, I'm taking it personally. Anyway, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac, and that should be one of the most pivotal descriptors, because if something is starting out the journey, it is the kickstarting, you know, initial push. It is getting the ball rolling. So Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It's coming out of the gate strong. And it is a cardinal sign, meaning that it starts a season. It's starting the zodiac. It's starting a season. And all of the cardinal signs, which start seasons, so that's Aries starting summer, can or sorry, Aries starting spring, Cancer starting summer, Libra starting fall, and uh, Capricorn starting winter. All of those signs are leaders that get the ball rolling about their respective topics. So the cardinal signs are great at like envisioning the beginning. They're great at getting things going. They're not too good at keeping things going. They're not the people that want to stick around and continue. And as someone with, you know, a Capricorn rising and Libra moon myself, I know all too well getting excited about something and getting the ball rolling and then being like, should I have to stick with this? Like cardinal signs, I just now know my position is much better as a catalyst or a starter. So if you have prominent placements in Aries, you might realize that you have a lot of passion in the beginning, but you tire of things easily and don't want to continue them. This does not necessarily translate to personal relationships. Like I don't find that Aries are flighty with that. I just find that they need a lot of stimulation and get bored easily. As Aries is a fire sign. So the fire signs are the essence of creation and creativity. Because what creates things in the world, you need to have fire. Like fire is creativity, you know what I mean? Like there's air is not creativity, water is not creativity. I mean, water is like emotional, you know, feeling, but it's not blatantly creating something. Earth is not creativity, earth is, is boring. I say this as a heavier sign person, we're just boring and we're there to hold space, which is bullshit, but somehow we do it. So fire signs verbatim are cre creative. They are a very, um, they're, they're very catalytic, you could say, because fire is literally the most catalytic essence possible. So a fire, a cardinal fire sign is like just a sprint. It's a hundred meter dash. It is the first chapter. It is the opening scene of the movie. It is getting the ball rolling. And therefore, Aries is the most headstrong, the most, I mean, I'm going to say this, and it does not mean that you as an Aries equal this. It means that Aries archetype equals this because you have all 12 signs in your chart. You as a if you're an Aries heavy person, if you have Aries sun, moon rising, you might identify with a lot of this, but other placements in your chart will mitigate or color it a little bit differently. So when I speak about one sign, I'm speaking in absolutes. You can disagree with me and feel free to comment down below if things are different for you because of other things in your chart. But if you have heavy Aries, Aries energy is very impulsive. This is not a bad thing. I think that impulsive impulsivity gets a bad rap in a way. I think that there's pros and there's cons. And there might be more cons, but impulsivity also means acting without inhibition or acting without self-doubt a lot of the time. So the positive manifestation of this for Aries, in my opinion, is impulsive. It, it, it's courageous impulsivity. It is like, oh my God, I see this person is getting hurt or this person is, you know, being taken advantage of. Aries is the first person to intervene. Aries is the first person to speak up. Aries is the first person to be like, that's not okay. That's not going to fly. I'm going to say something like Aries doesn't have to think twice. That's why I love having Aries friends. One moment. This, by the way, this lip uh, cream is um, the Fenty lip cream in fruit snacks. I love this as like a sheer red. It's a sheer red gloss. It makes it look a little bit like what's the Du Yan or Chinese makeup kind of thing where it's like in the center. I like this now with red hair. I don't feel the need to wear like bright red lips anymore. I kind of like the more whatever this is. Um, anyway, the impulsive, cor the courageous impulsivity of Aries is so market and so admirable in my opinion um because if there's anything going wrong in the world or if they see something that they perceive as wrong they will speak up and act out just by like the instinct calling upon them they don't have the same filter or the same inhibition of like oh my god do i say this do i do this to them it's like 
squirrel. Like you see, you move. Um, this can lead to issues if they misjudge or they mischaracterize a situation because they can be so, you know, headstrong that they can make their mind up and then you're like, no, 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 like stop. Like their momentum gets rolling so quickly that they can sometimes have the wrong idea and pursue it and then fuck up. But the good thing about Aries is that Aries does not generally hold grudges or malice and they're quick to apologize about themselves. Like they have a little bit of a little kid energy in the way that they act very quickly and very directly, but also they're one of the first people to be like, shit, I fucked up. Like, I'm so sorry. They don't really hold on to things too heavily. Um, Aries is ruled by Mars, which emphasizes this aggressive, assertive quality. However, with Mars, Mars rules both Aries and Scorpio. And Aries being a cardinal fire sign is quicker to act and more aggressive, but Scorpio is more malicious and more vengeful because it's a fixed water sign. And I have a full video on Scorpio if you wanna see that. But Scorpio is gonna hold it closer to the chest and plot your revenge. Like Aries might punch you in the face, but Aries is gonna make up for you sooner. Scorpio is gonna say nothing when you hurt them, but they're going to like make a plan to kill your entire family. You know what I mean? It's a different kind of aggression. So Aries is not as, Aries is not as threatening in my opinion. Like on the surface, they're more like, oh my God, you were so mean to me. But at the end of the day, they're much quicker to apologize and they're much quicker to return to baseline because Aries is very short lived. They need a lot of rest. They uh, tend to live their lives in a way where it's a lot of output and then a lot of rest. They're not, you know, fixed. They're not staying steady. They don't live a steady life generally, uh, but it's also not a very volatile life. It's just a very back and forth life. But it's not, you know, uh, I'd say that there's signs that are a little bit more danger oriented. Aries is a little bit more just like fun in the immediate moment oriented, which can lead to things like substance issues if they're hooked on like, uh, it's something like, I don't know, like an up or like an amphetamine or like Coke. Like they're very much like, give me like that fix now. They're not going to be too wrapped up in like drowning out, I find. Uh, they're not going to be too wrapped up in numbing out. They do, they generally want to be turned on or like tapped in more than they want to dip out, just in Aries essence. So they can be adrenaline junkies, but I don't find that they're like, they're, they're not the kind of people that are engaged in like high risk behaviors that are more about other people. I don't see with Aries a lot of like overly sexual behaviors. I see more so overly like adrenaline kind of behaviors, like roller coasters and stuff. There is even like a purity to Aries. I think that Aries and Virgo are two signs that embody a little bit of a childlike purity. Aries because they're very immediate and they're very, uh, there's the purity in Aries does not mean that all Aries are, I don't like to say good people because what the fuck does good mean, but not all Aries are aligned people but they often are acting from a very specific point of logic that is easy to identify. Like it's easy to identify the logic of an Aries. They're not mysterious, generally, I'm sorry to break it to you. They're generally not mysterious, they're not conniving. So if an Aries fucks up, you're like, oh my God, I understand where they were coming from. Um, in, in a similar way, I think that Virgos offer kind of pure simplicity because Virgos act of like, they wanna solve a problem. So even if you disagree with the problem itself, with Virgo energy, you're often like, oh, I see how they can see that there's a problem here. So with Virgo and Aries, I think often very child, like I say this as a Virgo. So like, it's funny that Virgo and Aries are Antitia, which means that they don't see each other in the zodiacal wheel. But I mean, that's another discussion. Antitia, it's kind of a cool thing to consider because um, there's the same amount of daylight in Virgo and Aries season, just like in whatever. Um, so Aries has this childlike impulsive courage uh, or courageous impulsivity. I keep fucking up in inverting that. Um, the downside, like I said, can be the getting too ahead of yourself, the acting out a bit too quickly, or the being so sure that you're right that it hurts people, but then you come back around and you're like, fuck, I fucked up. Um, overall, I think that Aries is a sign that is pretty well understood. I wouldn't say that Aries is like Pisces where it's like, oh my God, people think that this is a little bit, a Pisces and Aries, a Pisces and Aquarius, I would say are the two most misunderstood signs because of the false ruler, if I, in my opinion, the false rulership, and I could change my mind. Thankfully, I have a little, I don't have any Aries in my chart at all. I don't have any fucking planets in Aries, so I'm no Aries, I'm, I'm not that cool. I'm not, I'm so inhibited. Like deep down, my inner monologue is so detailed. If you think that I'm ever acting impulsively or spontaneously, oh my God, that took a week's worth of mental energy to concoct. I'm so, I'm so like Capricorn, Virgo, like uh, nothing is spontaneous with me, even if it seems like it, um, but, with Aries, how did I get on that that uh, thought? Um, with Aries, they're, I feel like they're very well understood, but I feel like with Pisces and Aquarius, because people think that they're ruled by the outer planets of 
Neptune and Uranus respectively, um, that people characterize them in a way that's just not true and then they get confused about the behavior of these signs when they don't match up with that. I don't think that Aquarius is a rebel or unpredictable. I think that Aquarius is nerdy and nonconformist. I don't think that Pisces is this like all love, all vibe thing. I think that it's Pisces is more dissociative and more uh, ungrounded. I don't think that it necessarily is like all love or anything. Um, so it's a little bit about Aries. If you resonated with Aries and this helped you understand Aries a little bit better, let me know. Um, if you get along with Aries or you have any thoughts around like this is not what Aries is, like blah, 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 then also let me know. Fire signs act hard. They love hard. They move quickly. And Aries is the epitome of that quick part. It's very like if you have a crush on an Aries act fast, their attention might waver. If you want to say something to an Aries, speak quickly, their attention will drift. But also if they're, if they're acting very urgent with you, know that they're not mad at you. Like Aries is just always fucking urgent. So like, it's not just you. Anyway, we're going to do a little bit of a fit check because literally all I wear nowadays are big t-shirts that are like a size large and fishnets and these like boots, because this is just like what I feel like wearing nowadays. Um, and I find that like, I used to be obsessed with wearing things that are very body con and I still like that, but like I love the way that like big oversized things look like on other people. So I'm in this point in my life where I'm like, if I like the way that looks on other people, why not me? I had this limiting belief where it's like, oh my God, I can't dye, like when I was a kid, I can't dye my hair any dark color because I have the pretty golden hair. Like I can't do that. I dyed my hair black. Then I was like, shit, I can't, you know, remove the black. Well, it turns out my hair is healthy enough to remove the black with lightener and then like lighten my roots slightly. But like this didn't take, this didn't take a ton of beach, uh, bleach. I think we only use like seven volume apparently. Um, but yeah, it's very soft. And I mean, bleach, slightly processed hair holds a style better because it's a little bit more porous. So like, yeah, whatever. I straightened it today. Uh, anyway, this is uh, what I'm wearing. This shirt is from Drop Dead. The lighting's really bad, but you can like get the gist. The shirt is from Drop Dead. And um, these fishnets are just ripped. They're the only ones I wear. These shoes are from Current Mood, but on Dolls Kill. I don't know what this says in the back. I still haven't like figured it out, but um, this is what I'm doing. I'm about to go. Um, yeah, I have plans, which uh, like every time I'm heading out from here, I'm going to like just something where one day I'll be able to be like, I was heading to this place, but soon you'll soon you'll figure out a lot is coming. A lot of a lot of exciting things are coming for me this Aries season. So let me know your thoughts about Aries. Let me know your thoughts about Aries season. I will see you in the next one.